What's up, YouTube? We're going to go ahead and break down a John Deere Combine-inspired Starship and build this from the bottom up, present you with a nice, easy-to-follow build guide. Give me just one second as I break it down, and then I'll be right back with you for the Snap 2 build guide. All right, before we get started with this build, the only specialty part you're going to have to make sure you have is the Hope 55 landing gears. Make sure you buy four of those from Hope Tech, and then make your way over to your outpost landing pad with Ship Builder, and all the other components will be available for you to build at your outpost. Once there, drop down Ateo Engineering Bay 3x1 bottom A to get started. Make sure it's the bottom variant with no connectors on the side. So that's the bottom A, Teo 3x1 Engineering Bay. Behind that, bring in your grab drive. And we're going to be using the J52 Gamma Grab Drive. And then just behind that, go ahead and connect your Deimos 120 LD landing bay. Next, bring in a Deimos hole A and duplicate one to each side. And then drop down a Nova Cowling 2L and connect one on your port side and then duplicate it and flip it and connect one over to the aft side or the starboard side rather. Then go ahead and bring in a Nova radiator and duplicate that twice to fill these gaps. And that's the bottom of our that's the bottom of our John Deere combine right there. Next up, bring in a Teo control station 2x1 mid. Doesn't have to be a control station if you don't want it to. And then bring in a Teo, I'm sorry, a Teo cowling. Make sure you flip it upside down so it's showing the four bottom. Okay, and then duplicate that and flip it. And now. You should be able to snap this one in right here, but it'll be red. So just flip it twice and cancel. Next, bring out your Hope 55 landing gear and place one at the front of your two by one and then duplicate it and flip it to the other side. And then bring out a Teo side cap and attach that right here and then duplicate it and flip it and bring one to the other side. Next, bring out another Teo 2x1 mid. I'm using an all-in-one berth and place that on top of your landing bay. And then grab a Poseidon DT230 engine and place one on at the port side of the back of your 2x1 and then duplicate it and place one on the other side. And now you could select both of these side caps and duplicate them and bring them over here to the 2x1. Next, I want you to duplicate a Deimos hole and just bring it off to the side here and then duplicate that once more. And then select both of those and duplicate them and put them on top of your two by one hab here next to your grab drive. And then grab your reactor and place that right on top of your grab drive. And now we're gonna duplicate drop down the reactor into the grab drive. So select your reactor in this bottom Deimos hole and duplicate. So drop down and then select this bottom reactor in this bottom Deimos hole and duplicate down. Now you can delete these top two reactors, these bottom two Deimos holes and these top two Deimos holes. And we're looking at this. All right, now grab another Teo 2x1. I'm using another control station here. Having the two control stations is going to give me my maximum crew of nine. Well, oh, eight is your max, but I'm using both of these so that I can have up to eight. And next, you'll want to grab 
a Deimos belly, flip it to the aft position and attach it back here to the back. And then just flip it twice and cancel. And then bring out a Deimos cowling aft. And you're gonna snap that right here and flip that twice and cancel. Next, you could bring out some more Teo side caps and put one on both of these uh, sections of the two by one. And then what you're gonna do is duplicate, flip, attach to the other side, duplicate, flip, attach to the other side. You can grab a Stroud companion way two by one and just place that right here and then we're gonna grab a Teo 2x1 top A and put it right here and I'm using an all-in-one top A after that grab a porthole 4 and attach it to the front of that Teo 2x1 that and now grab another Teo 2x1 and I'm using a workshop this is a 2x1 mid section and grab an overseer bridge and attach that right there in the front Then you'll bring out one more Teo 2x1 mid. I'm using an infirmary in this, in this spot. And then bring over a Deimos bumper and attach it right here. And then duplicate that and flip it to the other side. And then duplicate it and change the variant to a mid and put it here. And then duplicate that, flip it, and bring it to the other side. Next, we want to duplicate a Poseidon engine and bring that right here flip it twice and cancel and then grab a M50 Ulysses helium tank and you're going to attach that right here duplicate that flip it to the other side and now go ahead and really quickly duplicate this Hope 5 landing gear and snap it in this position and then duplicate that and flip it and attach one to the other side. Okay, while we're over here, you can duplicate this piece, this tail side cap and bring one up here. And we can put our shield down right here. All right, next, bring out a Hope Tech half cross brace. Sorry, folks, these are, these are specialty. This is a specialty part. If you don't have this at this point of the build, you'll have to go to Hope Tech and finish up this, this part of the build. So if you don't have this, that's fine. Just bring out a Deimos um, docker. You could, you could really bring out any, any, any one of these like top dockers at this point, and you'll just connect it to any have for now. And that way you'll be able to save this ship and go over to Hope Tech and grab this. But I, I will put a shopping list uh, as I edit this. I'll put a shopping list. So hopefully you grab that. Hopefully you grab this at the beginning, even though I didn't talk about it. I will put it on screen. All right, so then put the Hope Crossbrace here, 
duplicate it, put it here, and then bring out a Hope 11 Docker port, and you're gonna connect that right there. Next, bring uh, Deimos hole A up top here, duplicate it up, and then duplicate it over your shield, and then duplicate it onto your shield. And that's how we're gonna cover the shield. And then lastly is our weapons, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be hiding all my weapons. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab a, one more Deimos hole, duplicate this one and put it here, and then bring out a Deimos belly and put that in the four position right there. And that's ultimately, that's, that's your build. So again, if you don't have these hab cross braces, so you can't build this part right now, don't worry about it. Just grab any docker, like you could grab this top docker, and you could just put that right there, and that's gonna, you're, you're gonna be savable. You'll be savable without this docker. And then you can just go to Hope Town and pick up these parts. Sorry that I didn't mention that at the beginning. All right, duplicate that. So now what we're going to do, if you guys know me, you already know. You know what I'm going to do. We're going to be uh, putting all of our weapons into one hidden location. I do this on all my ships. You don't have to, but I like to. I just like my weapons hidden. All right, so bring out an equipment plate and place it on top of this Deimos hole. And then you can delete the Deimos hole and duplicate the equipment plate down. Now go ahead and grab one of your weapons. In my case, I'm using Disruptor 3340 Alpha Beams, Obliterator, Turrets, and Devastator Missiles. Not sure why. I don't want those Devastators. I'm gonna actually use um, some Atleys, some Atley 208Cs. Most of these ships I built while I was working on my skills, so I had certain weapons just to just to fly around Serpentis and I could blow up ships with different weapons to rank my skills up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and slap on some of these. All right, so what you'll do is grab your first weapon and put it onto the bottom equipment plate and then duplicate it and bring it up once. For my Atlee missiles, I can hold three of them to get max power, so I'm gonna duplicate this down twice. So I'll duplicate that, and then I'll duplicate that, and now I have three down here, so I can delete that and these extra Deimos holes. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in obliterator turrets but I'm gonna put one four, and then I'm gonna put one port, and I'm gonna put one starboard. So I'm gonna start off with my, my port, or my four, and I'm gonna duplicate that down. And then I'm gonna change it to a port, and duplicate that down. And then I'm gonna rotate it to starboard, and I'm gonna duplicate that down. And then now I just have to do my Disruptor 3340s. So I'm gonna put one here. And I'm gonna duplicate that down four times. And then you can delete these, delete all these. And then duplicate this up. Duplicate it over and duplicate it down and delete those top two. And that's it, folks. That's it. All you got to do now is assign your weapons to get rid of your last error. And then you could go ahead and give it a name. I called mine the John Deere. You could call it whatever you want. And that's your combine. I hope you liked this video. If you did, drop me a like. And we'll catch you on the next one. Till next time, everybody. Peace out.